going on? Brian Tong here and welcome to Googleicious for everything Google that we can pack inside of a show. Let's get to it and the LG G3 is going 3D. Now LG announced a new virtual reality headset for the G3 that will work using Google's cardboard VR platform and compatible apps. LG's own headset will be made out of plastic. VR for G3 will roll out this month for anyone who purchases a G3 in select markets, but it did not specify how existing owners can get one of their own if they want in on the virtual reality experience. Now the VR headset will also include a free download of Robo Obliteration. It's a bit of a surprise announcement and after seeing the popular response to what Samsung is doing, LG's making sure they are keeping up with the game. All right, you will no longer need an invitation to purchase the OnePlus One phone because they're making it a little bit easier to purchase it for the public. Every Tuesday of every week moving forward, you'll be able to purchase the One phone for a 24 hour period without an invite. So now we have Jordans on Saturdays, movie premieres on Fridays, comics on Wednesdays, and the OnePlus One on Tuesdays. Now OnePlus also recently released their latest over-the-air Cyanogen Mod 11S 05Q update with its most notable improvements bringing the SwiftKey keyboard as part of the experience and Max Audio by Waves which brings enhanced sound performance for deeper bass and clearer highs for their platform. We also showed you a picture of the rumored three colors of the new Samsung Galaxy S6 and now our friends from CNET Korea have posted this image that showcases the S6 in several different variants. Now this isn't new for Samsung, but you can see an edge style version laying flat in the front. And if you look closely to the phone standing up next to it, it also has an edge revealed that's on the opposite side, which could indicate a dual edge design for one of the models. There's also a standard S6, which is on the far left, a Verus branded version next to that, and the remaining phone has a thick metallic bezel that could be a more ruggedized active lifestyle version. Now the unofficial invite still looks like it's for a fork, but it also matches the design on the side of the edge, so we will wait to get an official word. And another Google event is happening this week with Mattel and the Googs sending out an invite for the event titled View What's Possible. That's a reference to what looks like an old Viewmaster toy. And for the kiddies who don't know what a Viewmaster was, please see this for reference. Zoe, look at my Viewmaster viewer. See, now you know. Now we're not exactly sure what Google and Mattel have in store or if it's piggybacking off their cardboard platform by creating apps for kids, but we'll find out on Friday the 13th. And a heads up for everyone that owns a Chromecast, Google is giving owners of their streaming stick a $6 credit that can be used towards any movie on Google Play this week. It appears that not everyone is getting the promo, so you'll need to fire up your Chromecast, use your browser, and check out the offer section to see if you get it. And if you do, it's the cheapest Valentine's Day date you'll have all year, and you can thank me later. All right, that's going to do it for this week. You can always email us at googleicious at cnet.com or tweet me at Brian Tong. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time for some more of that Googleicious. Googleicious.